so I want to talk about this is War Ford talk about buying online. So recently just got some stuff flying, so do a little bit of talk about it. So I thought it'd be quite an interesting to, subject to talk about. Right, so I get a lot of I've been buying different places, trying them out stuff since about the beginning of the year. So the first one I did was uh, Wargaming, we'll talk about it a bit, and um, Magic Madhouse. Um, and then Element Games just recently. So, and I'm in level up in Bournemouth, that's the other one. We'll talk all about them in stages. Right, so we'll talk about the most pre present order was Element Games. Point over there because it's there. Right, so, um, not problems. Happy, ordered. Saturday, got it. The Monday. Monday, yeah, got it Monday, so I was happy. Um, so got all I wanted, nothing, no problem, packaging lovely, got even got a little free sweet, so bonus. Um so happy with that. Um yeah, big thing I will talk about a lot in this video is stock levels. I like a website where I can see if I'm ordering something, I go right, they've got twenty of those in, five of that in. So I'm like, oh hang on, I'll come I'll order that five, that one I want there, and that one I can probably wait for come back to. Or they've got one of that, so I'll order it straight away, if you know what I mean. Stock levels are the big important. You're going to hear me say that a lot in this video. Right. And then it was Magic Madhouse. The same thing. Got stock level on the website. Ordered some Magic cards and some Imperial Salt stuff. And I think this is Martin some else. I can't remember now. Yeah, probably a bit the top of my head. Um, quite happy there. They're really into heavy into cards. Uh, but they've got a couple of stuff, but mainly cards. Um, Pokemon. Um, Magic of Gathering, mm -hmm. that stuff. So pre, top on that. So I'm happy with them. And then we'll jump to Wargaming because it breaches onto a little bit of the other subjects. Right. So Wargaming, all the beginning of the year, uh, had a little bit of problem with them. But the other two, fine. No stock levels on the website. So I ordered a couple of things, and it turned out they had to order stuff in to then send out to me. And I put it on a prior to order, and that obviously didn't work, so it caused problems. Um, so everything got sorted, communication was brilliant. Um, I think back, got the refund, got all the stuff. I think I didn't get one item, I think I cancelled one item to get stuff set out. So I got all the stuff. Um, can't fault them for bending over backwards to help me and stuff like that. And they got stuff out to me, so they're sort of the bottom of them three. They're the free, I would sort of recommend, and they're the bottom of the free. And Wargaming, I think, are everywhere online. They're a massive sponsor. They've been around for about a year, maybe, a year. And um, I remember when I was watching Martin Manil come up to be a shop, and it's amazing to see a Wargamer turn into that. But it's still got a room to improvement with that website. I don't know how long the other two have been around, but they're ten times better in the fact that you can see what you're ordering. And it turns up, and it's brilliant. So... He could, I, d I would definitely recommend him looking at them two websites and maybe taking something back from that. But the main thing I'd say is stock level. Stock level. If you can see you've got stuff on there, you're ordering it, you're not ordering it from another party to then to send it out to the customer, and the customer says, well, I need that for the game the weekend. Order from them, they're sending it out me, spread it up priority. They ring up and say, Oh, sorry, mate. They've emailed back, so we haven't got that stock. You just wasted a day sorting that out, whether you could have got that sorted, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that's the thing I sort of recommend with Star Level. Right, and then we go back to the last one. That's Level Up Gaming. Now, I live in quite a big city, Southampton, and then you've got Bournemouth and Portsmouth. And then Southampton smack bang in the middle. And um, oh, Southampton hasn't got a third party game shop. You don't know how lucky you are, some of the cities that have got a third game pet shop. We've got a small one in Eastleigh, but that's two two bus journeys for me. So I tend not to go that way, or a, a bus and a train. So it's it, all free for me because I've got a bus pass to get to work and stuff, but it, it tends to be a long time to get there. So I have to usually plan half a day to do it. So I tend not to do that. But um, So that's the nearest one I've got is Eastleigh. And they're all right. Um, a M C A A M C models. If anyone's watching this in the local area, they're Eastleigh. Now, 
or Level Up or Bournemouth. Now I thought I'd give them a go, local game shop, support your local game shop, as you should. So I ordered some stuff, I ordered two things. Um, the map time they're having a 25% sale off Games Workshop, so I ordered a big Imperial um, Sectus buildings. So it's 75 5 quid on Games Workshop, I picked it up for about 54 I think, give or take. So I ordered that and a Imperial Salt, if you know my channel I'm heavily into Imperial Salt, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So anyway, so I waited a couple of weeks, nothing turned up, so I emailed them and said what's going on. Anyway, as that happened, it went out of stock with Games Workshop, the Imperial Sector went out of stock. So that caused a problem. Right, so then that then came back in stock, got in contact with them, and then Obi Wan Kenobi, they either didn't have it in stock or they sold it or whatever, didn't. It disappeared. He'd done the fourth trick. Um, so they had the Imperial Sector set in a shop. Um, I emailed them so they have problems with their um, career and stuff like that. So basically getting the run around. I don't like getting the run around. I like to, tell, to be honest. If they said to me, right, we can't get in. I mean, we're ordering for their pile. I said, right, I'll come and get that. Leave that. So I ended up did come and get come. And, so I took a trip to Bournemouth. So I paid my own money. 15 quid. So I returned. So that's not bad. Hey, anyway, so I got there. Picked up. And then I bought some other stuff in the shop. I can't dish the shop. The shop is not amazing but for a small independent shop it is really good. Staff friendly, they have a little range of everything so really nice. Um, so I can't beef up the shop at all um, but buying online that is one of the worst experiences I've had online ever. <laughs> they kept giving me the run around um, I said to them when I picked the parcel up I'll wait for them um, the Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, the whole situation took two months to sort, and I ended up having a refund. Um, I won't go on about what I would do. I told my friends what I'd do. I'd, I would have ordered the model in from a different website myself. I was going to say it because I'm really annoyed, um, and then sent it out to the client to keep the client happy. I would have paid that out of my own pocket because the person came and got the order from the shop, but that never happened. So anyway. Um, so I do not recommend Level Up as online as a shop. If you're in Bournemouth, check them out. Because they're a local shop, check them out. If you're online, see if you can pick it up a shop, ring them up, see if I got it in stock. No stock levels again. Right, so the first two, first two, I swear it had stock levels. Wargaming didn't have stock levels. Um, so there's loads more online. There's um, Wayne Games, there's Goblin Gaming, Goblin Gaming sponsor um, OPN, another online guy, he's quite a good painter. Um, Geek Gaming just sponsored Luke. Um, Outpost, there's another one. I'm not sure it's on. There's another one called War Games Shop, there's two War Games Shops. And they're both in the same local area, and I ordered them years and years ago, and they were alright. They're still about, actually. Um, I don't know if they got stock levels, I can't remember, but they're alright. There is actually two war -like game shops online, actually. There's War Game, and there's War Games, I think. Um, so check that out, there is two. Um, so, um, and then there's obviously the fact of buying stuff online. If you bought me, see, when, when you're airbrushing, you got specialised stuff. I'll just grab the paint quick. I have just picked up this stuff. Now, I was lucky I didn't game actually stock it, or I had to go to another website to order it, so it was quite good there. I've getting a lot of my um, Vallejo paints. I'm trying to grab one, can't get it. Uh, from Amazon. So a lot of big packs and stuff. And I'll grab it from Amazon. So I'll start talking about Amazon. Amazon are brief stock levels again, but they are one of the big guns basically. Uh, I've got loads of Amazon. I love Amazon for the fact is you can get next day delivery. So I'm, and I can pick it up. It's no problem with buying online is you've ordered something and they say, oh yeah, it's coming this day and then you wait in this day and it doesn't turn up and then oh, 
you get your little slip from the post office and you have to go down there for one o'clock and pick it up. So Amazon's brilliant for that, pick it up in the locker. Uh, I'm quite lucky with the Emma Games and Magic, um, Magic Madhouse. I'll be able to pick them up if you know what I mean. They, they turned up when I've been in, so I've been quite lucky. They work different shifts, so I've been quite lucky there. Um, some of the Amazon, Amazon stuff I usually pick up in lockers. Usually, if it's not in lockers, I usually have to end up picking it up because it usually misses the, I usually miss the postman. Um, so, I'm going to stop rounding off because I'm rambling. Um, so, I'm going to put all the links in below for all the different websites I've mentioned. They're top, they're free, Wargaming, um, Element Games, and Magic Madhouse. I can't, the first two, I could not default them. I'm not a problem. If anyone has a problem, you put a link below. Um, Wargaming is. Communication, brilliant. I've, the best thing they can do for their website is stock levels. So they can put stock levels on there. I would end the way. I think my McNeil had that plan in the, in the original. I know he had a lot of problems with his website. And that's probably maybe something got left by the wayside, if you know what I mean, to get the website out. So that I would like to see that come in, if you know what I mean. Uh, I know with. Uh, what was it? Outposts, they have three colours and that tells you if they're in. And there's like one that says ring them up, one that says within 14 days, and then one that's like in stock. So that means they've got a, st a stock level. So even something like that, I think it's a really good idea. With a lot of websites, a lot of game tell you how many they've got in. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, so I'm rambling on. Go back, um, I'd recommend Magic Madhouse and Element Games top notch. Can't default them. Um, so I'm going to leave it there because I'm rambling but um, talk about it below this is what it's all about the Warforged talk so talk about it below talk about your experiences give me a recommendation and I'll give them a go eventually um, Christmas is coming up so <laughs> it's always a good thing um, so I'm going to leave it there so take it easy